Sa pagdinig ng Joint Congressional Oversight Committee on the Automated Election System kahapon, sinabi ng Department of Information and Communications Technology o DICT na wala silang nakitang hacking sa servers ng Commission on Elections sa COMELEC. Ayon sa DICT, batay sa report ng Paul Body, tanging ang COMELEC website lamang ang naka-online sa kanilang sistema. Sinuri ito ng DICT at wala anila silang nakitang na-download na datos mula sa website. Kung sakali man anila na totoong nagkaroon ng data breach, hindi ito nanggaling sa website ng COMELEC dahil wala itong database. There was a claim that 60 gigabits were 60 gigabytes were accessed. Uh, we looked at the logs for the end of December until uh, the time of the incident. There was no activity that there were 60 gigabytes downloaded. And in fact, the website of COMELEC is not hosting that much data. Pero para kay DICT Cybercrime Investigation and Coordination Center Chief Cesar Mangkaw, wala mang na-download sa servers ng COMELEC na kompromiso naman ang sistema ng Smartmatic na siyang software provider para sa halalan. On the, uh, the contractor of the COMELEC is Smartmatic. Hmm. We believe that their system is a compromise and that we are not also accusing them for uh, doing it themselves at this moment. We have identified the group that claimed and we have uh, sufficient uh, artifacts at this time that we can reveal in this session. Hindi idinetalya ni Mangkaw ang umanoy na kompromiso na sistema ng Smartmatic at humiling ng executive session sa mga mambabatas para dito mailahan ang mga nakalap sa kanilang investigasyon. Sumang-ayon naman sina Senator Amy Marcos at Cavite 4th District Representative Elpidio Barzaga na magkaroon ng pisikal na executive session. Pero ayon sa COMELEC, hindi pa nag exist ang mga datos na sinasabing kasama sa nahak gaya ng personal identification numbers o PIN ng vote counting machines. Tanging COMELEC lamang din anila ang may access dito sa kanilang memory configuration room. The only way you can hack it is not through cyber attack but you have to enter into that room and then input the two passwords by our supervisors and you have to pass all those securities before you can enter that room. Uh, Smartmatic does not have access to uh, this room? Yes, uh, Madam Chair, uh, we make sure that... Uh, no one can access except those only authorized personnel coming from the COMELEC. Ayon kay COMELEC Commissioner Marlon Casquejo, hindi sila nagbibigay ng sensitibong datos o impormasyon sa Smartmatic at tanging pag-provide lamang ng software ang partisipasyon nito. We are pretty much sure that the election is still intact because we do not provide them any sensitive data information. And even the software that we conducted, the trusted build with this uh, hash code being uh, display or in the website and open to the public, uh, we all we take control of that. Sinisika pa ng UNTV News na makuha ang panig ng Smartmatic kaugnay ng issue. Horilina Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. Diyos ang aming sandigan, serbisyo, publiko ang aming pinahahalagahan.